Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat, my name is Barry and this is my top 10 Hall of Fame inductees of all time. Before we get into the show guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. Share this with whoever you want to share it with, we're on that road to hitting the 200 sub mark. Um, we're obviously still early in it, but I'm hoping to get there um, as soon as possible. So guys, let's get into today's show. Now I know a lot of people don't like the Hall of Fame, a lot of people think it's just a, a silly little kind of... I don't know, a lot of people just don't like it. I do, I've always kind of enjoyed it. I enjoy the the idea of it and stuff like that. Um, I really enjoy like, the kind of... Just, I just enjoy the idea of it. Anyway guys, so let's start number 10. We've got Rick Rude. Hands down one of my favourite wrestlers of all time. This guy has great matches. And the, the thing that really gets me is obviously he had to stop wrestling quite early. And he was a manager for NWO and DX and stuff like that. And then obviously he passed away. But the thing that really, really gets me is... A lot of his best work comes from WCW in the 90s, which a lot of people don't realise he was there. That kind of 92, 93 period, he puts on a really good, solid matches. He has Steamboat, Flair, Sting. Oh, he has a ton of great matches and you should definitely check them out. Number nine, Randy Savage. What more can you say than Randy Savage had to be in there? Um, like I said in my top ten, he's not got a bunch of matches that I love, like I like his matches, I like some of his stuff, I don't love them, I'd probably say him against DDP is probably my favourite, and maybe his WCW run against Hogan, then when he returned, like his Sting, against Sting and stuff like that, but uh, probably his WCW run is his favourite, and then obviously the match at WrestleMania 3 with Steamboat. Um, number 8, we've got Hulk Hogan, he had to be there, no matter what you think, the man changed wrestling from red and yellow to the NWO, as much as people would say he ruined it as well, but he did change it and make it that kind of boom period. Then Scott Hall, number seven. Scott Hall's one of my favourite wrestlers of all time. I actually got this NWO shirt because it's got the man himself on it. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favourite wrestlers of all time. You should check any of his matches out. He's just a clinic in the ring. Um, obviously, I'd probably say he has not the the best in-ring worker, but he does it clinically, as in you can watch him and you know you're going to get a good match. Number five, guys, is the Ultimate Warrior. I loved him as a kid. When so I was a lot, I was too young to enjoy him as actual wrestling. But later on, in sorry, guys. Uh, later on, in, <laughs> something just came up my throat now. Later on, got a couple of DVDs, really enjoyed them. Got into them. Obviously, he went in the Hall of Fame, he passed away and stuff like that, which was, which was shit. Um, but really cool, really cool work. Uh, some of his stuff, obviously, a lot of it is kind of like awkward to watch. But his stuff with Rick Rude again, his stuff with Hogan. Um, he's he's got a kill match, a kill match with. Uh, sorry, guys, give me a moment. Need to get some water. Don't know what the hell's happened to my throat there. A cool match with Hunter Hearst Houndsley. Hunter Hearst Houndsley. Um, yeah, really cool. Enjoyed it. Number four, Ric Flair. Uh, Ric Flair has to be there. He's probably one of the greatest of all time. Um, and that's all that really has to be said. Number three, Eddie Guerrero. He has to be there. The man is my childhood. <laughs> Growing up from that age period of like, when I first got into wrestling at like eight, which was like 99, right through... Um, was just great. He's just, yeah, just everything he does, I've just enjoyed. I remember him winning the WWE Championship belt against Brock Lesnar, going on to WrestleMania and beating Angle for it, and his match with JBL and stuff like that. It was a really cool, cool kind of run, and I always enjoyed him. Number two, we've got Bret Hart. What more can I say? Everybody knows I'm a mark for Bret Hart, and uh, they know my favourite match, SummerSlam 94. Bret versus Owen Hart. One of my favourite matches of him, but then you've got Brett against Sean, Brett against Taker, Brett against Booker T in WCW, Brett against Sting. There's a ton of great matches, and talking about Brett against Sting brings me to my number one. Now, this is my favourite wrestler of all time, and I have to put him at number one because he's my favourite wrestler, and that's Sting. I remember seeing him as a kid and just enjoying everything that he done, and that's the reason he's there. That's the reason he's my number one, is because... It's just total, 
Tolly is my favourite wrestler of all time. I loved his in ring work, I loved his TNA career, his WCW. Did a little bit when he came into WWE, I really enjoyed that as well. I think being enjoying him in AEW as well, I've really just enjoyed everything that he's really done and I like him. I, that's why he's my number one. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my list. Let me know what your list would be. Let me know who's your favourite Hall of Fame inductee. Obviously, I'm not putting in the ones that are coming in just now. I would probably put the NWO up there as well. Um, DX, I'd probably put up honourable mentions for them. There's a, there's a bunch of guys that I could honourable mention. Harlem Heat, things like um, Jim Neidhart, stuff like that. But this is definitely my favorite, my kind of top list at the moment. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your list is in the comment below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell. See you later.